Good Wednesday morning, friends, or afternoon, or evening, or even middle of the night. Whenever you happen to join me, for those that I don't know, I'm Reverend Jennifer Finley, our Momentum and Discipleship Pastor here at First United Methodist Church in Kirksville. And this is our weekly time on Wednesdays to simply pause in the middle of all that swirls around us. To simply pause and reflect on our faith together, perhaps drink coffee if you're joining me in the morning or tea. I'm still working on some coffee for this morning. But we pause together and we ask ourselves, where have we seen God at work? Where is God meeting us? And sometimes the answers to that question are fairly predictable, but sometimes they're surprising. I don't know about you, but sometimes how God shows up to us surprises us. I think we're often used to thinking that God shows up in only certain kind of predictable ways and places. We're, we're used to expecting to experience God's presence when we're worshiping together. And many of us, I know several of you, are, um, are folks who find God in nature. And you're, so you're used to God showing up as you're going for a hike and sensing God's presence or as you're outside gardening when it's nicer weather. But it is cold right now and we're in the middle of winter and um, those may not be things that we are doing as much and um, I know many of us do more things like watching TV and watching movies this time of year and so God showed up to me with me watching a movie the other day and I thought I would share that experience with you because um, Sometimes I think that we limit where we think God can show up and the ways in which God can be present with us. And many of us may not think that God shows up in movies uh, unless God's name is explicitly used. But I can assure you that is not the case. Um, as I shared last week, um, early in January, I went to visit a good friend in Omaha and I took with me a DVD, a DVD copy of a movie that a friend had recommended to me. It wasn't one that I had ever heard about before this friend recommended it to me. Uh, it was published in the early 2000s, mid 2000s, and I think I had missed it when it had first come out. It was called Lars and the Real Girl. Now, those of you who maybe have seen this, uh, well, though it is a fabulous movie, um, for those who maybe have not seen it, um, I'm not sure what I was expecting. It's a comedy, um, but also, it's got some deep truths in it, and God met me there, and um, I thought I'd share a piece of that. I won't ruin the whole storyline, because I think many of you might enjoy this movie. Um, but there's a scene where the main character is needing some support in his life, and his small town, rural, um, I think probably upper Midwest, it was very cold looking, um, maybe northern United States, um, community came around him to support him in some surprising ways. And there was a scene where he was needing support and some of the older women um, in the community came and they sat in his living room and some brought knitting and others brought casseroles and he looked around and he asked a question, um, what do we do now? What are we supposed to do? And one of them just very matter-of-factly said, we sit, we sit. And then someone else said, we bring casseroles. Now that is as Midwestern as, as it gets and we all know that. Um, but when a, somebody is in need, often what we do is we sit, we gather and we sit together. And I know from talking to many of you um, that when somebody that we love or um, is needing support, we don't always feel like just sitting and being present is enough. We want to be able to do something or to fix something. But this beautiful scene that had some comedy because, yeah, we bring casseroles, also had this beautiful reminder that sometimes sitting together is enough and God shows up in that. God met me in that moment and that scene has come back to me as I've remembered the many times in ministry where sometimes simply sitting together is powerful. Now we often think about that in times when someone has a clear need, um, but I think many of us recognized, especially during early COVID times, 
that we missed simply being able to sit with each other, even when things were going really well, to simply be present with each other. And so I'm wondering, how are you sitting with each other? Where is that happening? It might be happening around challenging times, but it also might be happening in all kinds of other ways. This time of year, we don't do a whole lot of sitting in the backyard like we do in the spring or the summer, but we might be sitting around living rooms. We might be sitting around our gathering space here downstairs in our fellowship space outside our sanctuary. And sometimes in those spaces, we share things that we're not quite sure how to respond to. You know, someone's got something challenging happening in their lives, um, or someone's super excited about something and we're just not exactly sure how to respond. Sometimes we think that we need words, but friends, this, this movie scene reminded me that God shows up when we simply sit and be present with each other. I'm hanging out in our movie room upstairs in our children's area this morning because it was a reminder that I didn't necessarily expect God to meet me in a fun comedy while watching it with a friend, but God really did. And sometimes I think we don't necessarily expect God to show up in the form of a casserole or a time to sit and simply be together, but God does. And so I'm wondering a couple of things. I'm wondering when has God surprised you recently? What maybe it's a movie or music where suddenly you weren't expecting God to show up for you and there was the presence, there was a reminder. Feel free to share that in the comments or give me a call or a text. I would love to hear what movies are out there that God surprising you with or what music is out there that you are meeting, that God is meeting you in that you maybe never thought was going to happen. But then I'd also like to know, how are we sitting together, friends? Where are you finding God showing up in the presence of others? And if you need someone to simply sit with you, whatever that means, or to bring you a casserole, um, give the church a call, text or call us. We're, better yet, if you know of somebody who needs that, reach out, sit down. We've come through some challenging COVID times and many of us are on the other side of that, but our world is still a challenging space. And I know that sometimes simply being together, whether it's on a Sunday morning um, or whether it is in our Thursday morning Bible study on the phone or whether it's in text conversations or whether it really is physically sitting around a living room together, we are showing up for each other. And when we do that, God is in our midst. So wherever you are today, friends, know that you are absolutely not alone. And I hope God surprises you this week. Go in peace. Amen.